Port Way cuts a wandering path across the northern tablelands of New South Wales and provides easy access to a number of beautiful national parks, waterfalls of course, and bushwalking through the Gondwana land rainforests of northern New South Wales. visiting friends who live in this beautiful area and visiting a number of the sites. We headed from Point Lookout down to George's Junction campground via the Styx River Forest Way, a bush road that cuts from Point Lookout down to meet the Armadale to Kempsey Road. The recovery from the 2020 bushfires is remarkable. Some of the Styx River forest, while the trunks of the trees are charred, the tree ferns and the general greenery was just amazing. We ended up coming across a road close sign that pushed us from the forest way onto a boundary trail of the Styx River State Forest. Hema said that it was a relatively easy track but it obviously hadn't seen some maintenance in quite some time and was badly washed away in places, adding to the adventure. said that video never really shows the gradient and the steepness of some of the tracks. Certainly in this case the road was badly washed away and coming down with the trailer uh, made an interesting job. Trial can
continued to get narrower and sketchier, in some places getting quite overgrown. Clearly no uh, traffic had been through here in some time. Eventually we broke out of the boundary trail and back onto Forest Way, which allowed us to get our pace back up to make George's Junction by nightfall. The Armadale to Kempsey Road was badly affected by the 2020 bushfires and the subsequent rains which caused a lot of bad erosion and landslides due to the lack of forest cover. The road was only recently reopened but even now is still only a single track and has some quite dramatic cuttings and dropaways. After a drive which dropped around a thousand metres in altitude, we came to the beautiful George's Junction camping area, where George's Creek meets the Maclay River, a river that eventually winds its way to the Kempsey on the Pacific Ocean. You don't know how much I've already been through. Although the river wasn't in flood, it was running above its normal level, so we couldn't cross the ford to get to the campsites further down the valley. You get what you deserve, and I stand my ground. Never backing down. We 
selected to find a quiet spot on our own by the river and in amongst the forest. New South Wales Wild Rivers area is a beautiful part of the world. We certainly plan to come back and explore it a little more. But this leg of our trip's over and tomorrow we head down to the coast before wandering our way back home. Then right on cue after dinner, a storm came through to close out the day.